Yo, the name is Slack, and guess what? Skyrim is back! All right, all right, calm down, calm down. And just to clarify, this wasn't an arbitrary decision. I actually put it to a vote on my community page right here about three weeks ago. I asked everybody what the next walkthrough should be, and I give you five choices. Skyrim, Cyberpunk, Kingdoms of Amalar, Aliens Dark Descent, and System Shock Remake. Almost 2,000 of you cast your votes thanks to everybody who participated. Skyrim won by a country mile. Literally blew everybody else out of the water and came in with a whopping 60% of the votes. A distant second was Cyberpunk coming in with 18% and the one I personally voted for, so this may surprise some of you, but the one I personally voted for was Aliens Dark Descent which only managed to capture 8% of the votes so there you go. What do I know? So the viewers have spoken. Skyrim it is. Now I know what the first question is going to be. Will Major Slack Attack once again become a Skyrim dedicated channel? No. Definitely not. But I do want to take care of some unfinished business, namely the remaining two pure race runs that I did not previously cover, those being pure Redguard and pure Dark Elf. What about pure Argonian, Slack? Pure Argonian is impossible. No, it's not. Yes, it is. We've already discussed this to death a gajillion, pajillion times in the comments section of many other videos. So it looks like I'll have to make a special video covering exactly why pure Argonia is impossible. And I'm talking about legendary difficulty, all right? Legendary difficulty. And most of you claiming it's possible on legendary difficulty have only worked it out on paper. You've never actually tried it. Anyways, enough about that. Like I said, subject for another video. Moving right along, second question I'm sure a lot of you have is why did I take a break from Skyrim? Short answer, um, there is a long answer, maybe that's the subject for another video as well. Short answer is when Bethesda released the Skyrim Anniversary Edition DLC, it basically dropped a nuclear warhead on everybody's installed mods. So much so that it very quickly became known as the Mod Apocalypse. Long story short, a metric ton of mods got broken by the update that Bethesda put out just before Skyrim Anniversary Edition came out. As a result, the popularity of Skyrim completely tanked. And my view count here on Major Slack Attack just literally dropped off a cliff. It was astonishing. I look back on it every once in a while and the difference, like, pre-Skyrim Anniversary Edition and post-Skyrim post Anniversary Edition is just astonishing. Just dropped off a cliff. So I had to move on, which was a real shame because I really liked Skyrim Anniversary Edition and I still do and didn't really get a chance to fully explore it. And just so you know, the release of Skyrim Anniversary Edition had no effect on my installation of Skyrim because I only had a handful of mods installed at the time and none of those mods, none of those mods rather used the Skyrim script extender, which was the main culprit behind all the broken mods. Why did I have so few mods installed? Well, uh, my opinion of Skyrim mods back then is pretty much the same as it is now. What is that, Slack? My opinion uh, is, and breaks yourself, my opinion is that most Skyrim mods are a bunch of sorry ass, half baked, elitist garbage. Oh, yeah, come here and say that. Sorry ass, half baked, elitist garbage. Did you hear me that time? Yeah, I heard you that time. Good. Now, that being said, <laughs> before making any kind of triumphant return to Skyrim, I decided that I was going to install 25 mods, making sure that at least some of them relied on the Skyrim script extender, the latest version, the latest version of which I also have installed. Now, which mods I have installed and what process I went through to get them all to play nice together is the subject of another video as well, assuming you all want to see that. Please post a comment if you would like to see a special Major Slack Skyrim mod video. So all that to say that as you watch this walkthrough you'll see my version of Skyrim completely transforms but don't worry they are all just cosmetic changes only. Now it took me two fucking days, that's, I'm not kidding, it took me two freaking days, pardon my French, it took me two freaking days to install all my mods because I'm extremely picky about my Skyrim mods. I'd say my browse slash install rate is about 5% at best, okay, at best. That is to say, I have to browse through 20 Skyrim mods 
before I find one that I like. And by like, I mean tolerate. Okay, so final score, I currently have 27 active mods. And do the math, that is multiply 27 by 20. And that's how many mods I had to plow through at least, probably much more. That's how many mods I had to plow through to get Skyrim looking the way you see it in this video and in the videos to come in this walkthrough. Once again, I will gladly give you all the complete rundown on all my installed mods in a separate video if I see enough comments asking for such. So post a comment if you want to see that. Finally, I welcome mod suggestions by only and only if you can make them with no expectations. I don't want to get into any more of these situations where a viewer is saying, Hey Slack, did you check out that mod I suggested? And I reply, yeah, but I think that's an exploit, so I don't want to use it. And then they reply, well, you use such and such a mod and I think that's an exploit. And I'm like, yeah, so it's my game. It's my call. Just like it's your game and it's your call what mods you use, it's my game, it's my call, what can I say, sorry. Mods are entirely a person, you know, they're entirely about personal preferences, all right? And when it comes to personal preferences, there is no right or wrong, it's just personal preferences, all right? That's the way it is. By the way, if you have any quick questions about any effects or changes I've made to the game with my mods, feel free to ask what it is, but please, please, I'm begging you, post a timestamp. Okay? Don't simply say, hey Slack, what's that thing in Whiterun beside the blacksmith? I'm like, what thing? Which blacksmith in Whiterun? I don't know what you're talking about. So please, post the timestamp and I'll gladly answer your question. Alright, so I think that pretty much covers all the bases. Enough of the small talk, let's get busy. First off the bat with my Skyrim unfinished business is a Skyrim pure red guard walkthrough. And that walkthrough starts now. He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his guns. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay, here we go. Pure Red Guard. We're starting from my special prisoner save that occurs right after you take the carriage ride in, and we're in Helgen, and we're about to be beheaded. Beam me up, Scotty. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Okay, um, MCM, if you're noticing that in the top, right cor top left corner, that refers to my configuration menu. Um, let me just check out something here. Make sure everything is kosher. Make that large. Check this. That's good. Um, this should be W. And I think that'll do it. No care of Rorix. Oh yeah, field of view. 85. There we go. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! You're not going to kill me. Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? We are a red guard. And we're a female red guard, and let's load up a preset that I got all ready to go. And I just want to make a few tweaks, though. This one right here. And I decided I don't like the hair. So, um... Yeah, I want hair number 31 instead of 28. Yeah, that one. And I don't like the color either. I want to tweak the color. Um, yep, that'll work. Okay, we're done. And her name is Pamela Greer. <laughs> 
What are you doing here, Redguard? You a sellsword? A sailor from Stros Mekai? Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure it remains our turn to Hammerfell. Follow the captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. And you say the same. As brainless in death as he was in life. Right, Rayloff? <laughs> as fearless in death as he was in life. Well, okay. Same death. Next, the Red Guard. <laughs> Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. What do you see? It's in the clouds! Alright, let's boogie. Okay, so I just want to wait till the blur from the shout dissipates. Now. Up through the tower. Let's go. Okay, and we're Oscar Mike. Let's get out of here. Q Aldwin. Yeah, hot time in the old town tonight. Okay, and I just want to see this guy fly Air Alduin, one of my favorite parts of this. Hang on. I want to see this guy fly Air Alduin. Here we go. Air Alduin. Whee! Hey, I can see my house from here. Uh oh, wait a minute. Okay, we're going very loft because we want a complete set of Imperial gear. So what do you think, Rayloff? Was that a dragon? We'll meet again in Sovngarde, brother. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon. No shit. No doubt. Okay, we armored. Untie me. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take Gunnar's gear. He won't be needing it. 
Okay, so we now have finally access to the skill screen. Let me just quickly review exactly what a pure race run is. We are playing as a red guard. Every race starts out with six specific race race specific skills, one primary skill and five secondary skills. And all these skills um, have a bonus. All the skills start out at 15 by default, but your race specific skills start out with a five point bonus or your primary skill starts out with a 10 point bonus. The red guard's primary skill is one handed, so that's a 10 point bonus on top of the default 15, so that's 25. And the other five um, secondary skills are archery, destruction, alteration, smithing, and block. Okay, a pure race run is where we are going to run through the entire game or make a dragon ready build. That's what I usually do, but um, I'll talk about what the goals are for this specific run are later on. But the whole gist of it is we have to only use the six race specific skills and none other. That's what a pure red guard is. We have to get through the game using only block, one-handed, archery, destruction, alteration, and smithing. So the first thing you'll notice is we're not allowed to wear any armor because we not we don't have light armor or heavy armor as a skill. So we're going to have to rely entirely on uh, flesh spells in the alteration skill tree for armor. And unlike the pure Argonian, the red guard actually has too many offensive skills. We have archery, destruction, and one-handed at our disposal. So this is really weird. This is probably a... Uh, this was a little more difficult than I thought it would be. This is almost as hard as the Pure Nord run. So yeah, this is going to be really interesting. Anyways, we've got some beautiful strategies all worked out for this. Let's get busy. Get that armor on. Uh, we don't want this. We don't want this. Let's take a look at our girl in the light of day. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Okay. And just use the Iron War Axe for now. Like I said, I want... We're allowed to use flames, but we're not allowed to use healing because healing is restoration, but we're allowed to use flames because that is the destruction skill. So let's favorite that. Let's see about that gate. That's it. Alright. No way to open this from our side. Okay, so I'm gonna let Rayloff take the heat and we're going to come up in the rear, try to get as many one-handed hits as possible, and take down these two Imperials, because I want a complete set of Imperial armor. Imperial Sorry, Rayloff. Shit happens. Here we go, one handed up to 26. And down goes the captain. He tried to have me beheaded for no reason. Uh oh, she's coming after me. Down you go, and yeah, and yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe one of these Imperials had the key. Got it. So you can unlock that door. Okay, that's it. We're good. That's it. Come on, let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Come on, Raylaf, let's go, let's get the light out. I need you. <laughs> okay, get in there and like create a diversion. So I can come up in the rear and whack these guys for some more one handed leveling. I just need to gather some more potions. Off you go. Atta boy. He's a good cannon fodder. Alright, here we go. I'm 
<laughs> I keep hitting Raylock. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> It'll all be over soon. <laughs> Good job, good job. See Grab if you can that. Find any potions. We'll need them. Yeah, we will need them. Grab all those. Done. Let's yep. get moving. Okay, one more thing. I want to get some lockpicks. You're not allowed to use lockpick. It's like, yes, I know. I'm going to permit it in one particular instance, and I'll explain why. Shortly. Let's just go grab these lockpicks here. Okay, everybody's sufficiently distracted. This is the only lock I'm going to pick in this entire run. Because lockpicking isn't one of our skills. Let's grab all these here. Most important is the Sparks um, Spell Tome. And that's it. We don't need Riloff anymore, so we are out of here. As far as the Imperial gear, the entire Imperial, Imperial armor set, I'm going to use that to complete, or rather, advance a quest. I'm not going to wear any armor in combat, that's one of the rules of engagement, but it will permit it um, just as um, a part of advancing a certain quest. And the same goes for like entering the College of Winterhold. In order to enter the College of Winterhold, we're going to have to buy a random spell. That spell is highly likely not to be either well, not highly likely, but it could very well not be a destruction spell or an alteration spell. In which case, if it isn't, um, not allowing our character to use that spell simply for the purpose of entering the College of Ridgehold would be stupid. I've done this before in um, all the other pure race runs. I have made exceptions, you know, to entering the College of Ridgehold when it comes to that. Okay, so like quest specific, you know, scenarios, I will make some exceptions. Let's grab this Blackberry Mead and all this booze here, and that's it. Just explaining all this because, you know, some viewers out there, they just thrive on trolling. And the first thing they're going to do is, You cheated, Slack! You cheated! Okay, we're not going to go with survival mode. And let me just run down the path here to see if I can get uh, the first quest here to complete Unbound. Because sometimes it takes a while for Reloff to come out. Come on, Reloff. Let's go. There we go. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, one final configuration. One of my favorite mods is this here, Imaginator. Imaginator, it won't let you configure it until you exit Helgen Keep. So let's configure it right now. And a lot of you have been asking how I configure this, like what are my settings? Okay, so just basically go into your magic if you have this installed, Imaginator, and um, hook it up like a spell, and then just cast a spell. And... Yes. You can make all kinds of different tweaks to the color, saturation, and brightness, and all kinds of things with Imaginator. One of my favorite um, mods here. So I'm going to show you my settings very quickly now. Um, go to Contraster. And we're going to tweak saturation and brightness. Saturation, we're going to bump up to 30. 
So you're going to click on saturation 10 times 3. Okay, so increase 10 once. There we go in the top left corner of the screen. You see that? And again, saturation is set to 20. And again, saturation is set to 30. There he goes. Looks like and there's Rayloff. He finally made it out. Okay, and let's go back. Oops. This is a problem with the menu. And I'm going to have to reset. I meant to hit back and it still increased. Okay, up to 30 again, and I want to make sure I hit the back. There we go, back. Now, brightness. Just want to increase brightness by one. Okay, so this one here, that's all. Makes a big difference, though. Look in the top left corner to verify. Brightness set to one, that's good. Make sure you hit the back button this time. Back. And now we want to go back to menu. And now you want to go to Cinemagic. In Cinemagic, we're going to increase sky, sky by two and sunlight by two. Okay. Sky. Top left corner, sky level increased. And again. And down to sunlight. Sunlight increase. And again. And let's go back to menu. And those are my settings. You want to make sure that you got all the settings right. Click on display your imaginator settings. And it should be brightness 0.1, that's correct. Saturation 3.0, even though we put up to 30, that's the way it reads. Okay, that's correct. Saturation 3.0, brightness 0 0.1. All the colors should be zero because I didn't set any of those, but you're welcome to do that. You know, go ahead, fool around with those colors. And finally, sky and sun will be 2.0 each. There we go, sun 2.0 and sky 2.0. So all the settings are correct. We're done here. Ta-ta, see you in the funny papers. Take that off and we're done. And that will stick. Um, let me just uh, do a save and that will stick with your save you don't have to reset it at all okay it's set now and that's it okay. all right first things first no alchemy in this run because that's not one of our skills let's get down to the guardian stones Check out the blue mountain flowers, eh? Isn't that awesome? Alright, what if I finally decide on? Um, warrior or mage? Let's go with uh, warrior. Okay, and I want to go to Ember Shrive Mine and get a pickaxe. It's going to be a little tricky. With flames in both hands. Let's go around here. Get on top of this log here. Right here. Uh-oh, I'm going to fall down. Run away. That's it. Run away. There you go. Oh yeah, and I have this armor. Let me just slap this on. Novice Hood and Novice Rose, we got that in the Helgen Cave. Let me just get behind the... Uh...
<laughs> hey, watch it up. And down you go. This is Sky UI for those of you who don't know. And some of you I know you're going to say, I thought you said you're totally against Sky UI. Yes, I was until I realized that it actually shows you active effects in the top right corner. That's the only reason I installed it. I'll talk more about that in the mod video. Um, right now, the Iron War Rat, the no way. Yeah, let's go with the sword. Okay, we just in here for a pickaxe. This is just for everybody else. I have another way of mining. <laughs> oh yeah. The spell tome that we picked up. Let's just eat that. And... Sparks, let's favorite that. And let's make you number three for now. Very good. All right. You worried someone will wander in here. Always had an entrance in the exact area. Let's just cook these guys up a little bit. Jump down here. Here's your pickaxe. Swing and a miss. Where's the other guy? Okay, guys, come this way. Got a little rock trap for you. Ready? Here we go. Okay, let's run this guy through the rocks here. Ouch. There we go. Give me your goodies. Give me your goodies. Okay, so we're good to go. Wait to recover. Okay. Time for a little shock mining. And we're good. Who the what now, Slack? <laughs> shock mining. And, um, yeah, that's one of the mods I have installed. That's how I'm taking care of the mining problem. No more mining animations. I'll try to remember to list all my mods in the video description. It's going to be a long list though. Um, what next? Uh, we need some leather, so we're going to have to take on these wolves out here. I don't know why I picked that blue mountain flower. That was entirely um, a knee-jerk reaction. So so accustomed to picking. Here's a wolf right there. Okay, and there's two more wolves over here. If you dual wield your flames and you shoot them out one after the other like this, um, you get the most burn effect. Because you kind of like stack up the burning effect, like the afterburn effect when you do it like that. Instead of just using a steady stream. And also do like short controlled bursts. I don't want these guys ganging up on me. Here we go. Get out of here. And... That's right, cooking him up here. Hot dog. Where are you going? There we go, he's down. Where's the other one? Yikes. No, no, no.
Yep. That's what it's like on legendary difficulty. I, I did pull my viewers uh, a couple years back what difficulty setting they played on, and most of you do not play on legendary difficulty. No shame in that. Absolutely no shame in that. I'm not an elitist. Okay, not at all. Play on the difficulty setting that you feel most comfortable with. But I always play on legendary. Okay, and that's what it's like on legendary. Um, yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch your ass. Okay, so. Uh, I just want to go up to Anissa's cabin and get the flawless emerald. Let me just wait till the next day there. It's not like some nice bright sunny weather. There we go. just make a group out of these two that should be number two and Okay, so, bikini, novice gear, very good, bikini, novice gear. That is another feature of Sky UI, making groups. If anybody wants a tutorial on that, I'll gladly do one. There we go, some more shock mining. That's what I'm talking about. And let's do some fishing. Fire to something. <laughs> That's the least of our worries. Okay, you can pause the video and read this up if you so desire. This is part of the Skyrim Anniversary Edition. This will begin the quest Angler's Acquaintances. Cast a line in and press that years. button, whatever it is for you to pull a fish out. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here we go. There you go, Angler Acquaintances has begun. Okay, we're going to um, Nisa's cabin. By the way, I'm going to try to keep my girl here an honest woman as long as possible. I'm going to try to avoid any crime. So. Anise, you're safe this time. You will survive. <laughs> We're not going to kill you just for your vegetable soup, as I usually do. Okay, going this way to the west, past this big tree here, and looking for a uh, iron ore vein right here, nestled in these rocks here. Done and done. Okay, just to show you that I am indeed mining the exact amount of ore that it should be. I've, I've mined five ore veins so far and I had 15 iron ore. So, it's, yeah, it's working perfectly. Okay, and I just want to go around the corner here and onto this little ledge to get the flawed emerald. We need approximately 650 gold. There's the flawless emerald. It's always there, guaranteed. And yeah, we need approximately 650 gold to run through my opening strategy here.
This is so great getting back to Skyrim. I, I was having a riot this week playing this. Just a riot. Especially with all the uh the new look. Alright, let's start working river with you there. thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous. What? Venomous nonsense, okay. And first thing we're gonna do is rat on Sven to Feindel. Feindel. Next time you might want to get dressed Sven's trying to screw you over. What is that blowhard up to now? Yeah. So, he thinks he can turn Camilla against me. Two can play at this. Uh -huh. Here, give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. Let's see what you can Can't do. After reading Next, that. let's go talk to Gerder. Engin? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. New to Gerder, we need some supplies. Of course. Here's the key to the house. Here, Stay. very good. Oh, what's this all about? What are you doing? And did you give up an enchanted ring? No, you did not. Very good. Okay. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Very good. All right. We'll cut his axe and. Just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Huh. I'll be right down. Actually, I don't want to do this yet. This is going to overload me. Yeah, I knew it. Uncle Rayla, can I see your axe? How many trails have you killed? Do you really know Alfred Stormcloak? Nothing I'm sexier so than a bikini no clad red guard swinging an axe. Alright. I and uh yeah, no, I'm way overloaded. So out goes the firewood. But we can always pick it up later. We gotta sell off. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the right yourself. Just showing you some new stuff around Riverwood. Pretty cool, eh? Okay. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Take a look. I prefer using the mace to the sword because of the stagger effect. I'm hoping you get a, a steel mace. Uh, let's sell off these. Keep the woodcutter's axe. Okay, we got to keep at least one complete set of imperial gear. I'll explain why later, so make sure you do that if you're following this walkthrough. So I'm going to keep the armor, the boots, the bracers, and... The officer's helmet. Probably should have kept the light gear because it's lighter, but whatever. And sell out this. And we're good. And don't need the lockpicks. Good day. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no Maybe you could talk some sense no into my pig-headed brother. Okay, I have a letter from you, for you from <coughs> Sven. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. He says he wants you barefoot, pregnant, and in the kitchen. You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Oh, okay. I better yeah, get going. Yeah. Hey there. Did something happen? Yeah, we, we did have a bit of a... Somebody stole your golden claw, eh? An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Okay, we're gonna get that for you. We can could. get that back for you. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. Just so it's we can play golden claw, claw basketball. <laughs> Alright, what do you got for sale? Ends, Not the hardcore thing. slackers know what that's all about. Golden claw basketball. Can't wait to play that again. Um, I don't need the pickaxe because I'm gonna be doing actually. 
there are some rare situations where shock binding doesn't work, so I better hang on to that. This I'm keeping, this I'm keeping, there's absolutely nothing we can do with the rings. We, we don't have enchanting, so we can't enchant them, so we can only sell them. Keep all those. Keep the booze and the blackberry and mead. Don't need that. And that is it. 534. Let's go loot um, get those a few houses. First of all, let's go back to Feindel. Tell him his little caper worked. Next time Cape. you might want to get dressed. I'll show you what I know. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to click on this one. Okay. Help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Yeah, and he gives us 25 gold, but that's not why we did this. Lead the make him our follower, and then take Still all here. his stuff, including the key to his house. What do you want me to carry? Okay. It's what we want to carry of yours. Having taken all that. I'm right behind you. Okay, where are you going to be if we decide to dismiss you? I'll head back home if you need me. Okay, good. That's good. <laughs> now we have the key to his house. Let's go loot the place. And Gerda's place because we have the key to her house. Grab those two here. These two potions here. And how about something enchanted? Nope. Can grab all that. And it's gonna grab all this chump leaf just to sell off. And the wine. Oh, that's for the pretty penny. Grab that. And that's pretty much it. Maybe the three iron daggers there. Don't really need that. <laughs> okay, I there's not really much we could put good to good use here. Collect Make all the leaks, the definitely. I told you my sister would help us out. Glad to help any way I can. Very good. Show the trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay. Don't need two hunting bows. Don't need the dagger, don't need two maces, don't need that. We now have a shield, which we can use because we we're allowed to use block. Um, don't need that. Keep all the imperial gear and keeping the boots. So that everybody doesn't complain that she, my girl is running around in her bare feet. And this we have to sell. Good, I got 10 alto wine, that's good. So let's just sell off the everything else as far as the booze. We got 1,000 gold. That's perfect. Mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. That is it. Points into health. Definitely points into health. And you keep that prick point for now. Okay, is there anything I want to do at the inn? No, not necessarily. We sold off everything. We have enough money. 
Did the Fain Dell gear or Fain Dell caper? We're out of here. Sorry. Let's put on the boots. There we go. <laughs> the wolf up ahead. Come on out of here, doggy. Come on. Cooking him up here. Cooking him up here, boss. That's a hot dog, yeah. He's here all week, folks. Don't forget to tip your waitress. <laughs> Just a uh, hotkey. That stuff there, and we're good. all that crap on the right side of the screen it's like that's my active effects that's one of the features of sky ui that's the only reason i installed it because i as some of you know i've always been against installing sky ui because i don't want to alienate um any of my viewers who um are just not accustomed to seeing this you know this kind of um user interface and we're going to White Run Stables. Let's just grab all these spuds here. And the cabbages, make some vegetable soup out of that. That's important, especially for a one handed warrior. But the bottleneck is always going to be leaks. Oh, and the Gajita here. Wow, far out. Okay, let's discover White Run Stables. Very good. And the first thing I want to do is go to Solitude. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city, capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already know. And we are here at Catless Farm to get a potato horse. But this time it's going to be a wheat horse because we want to keep our potatoes. Let's want to run around the back here, grab one wheat, and let's wait till daytime to get Catla to spawn. There's Catla. We could always Catla, I have wheat to sell. Honest pay for honest work. Okay, and now that we're All friends right, with the then. farm. We can take one of your horses. Very good. We have wheels. Rocking. Do you guys have any, uh. This farm doesn't have any leaks. Oh, here's some leaks. Some leaks over here too. Very good. What's next on the agenda? Ripton. And Need a ride? I promised everybody a video today. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll Ritten. be off. It is now 
Oh my gosh, it's four o'clock Sunday afternoon. Be sure to visit the Black Briar so I'm gonna have to call it. We are what 50 minutes into this video. I'm gonna have to call it. I spent all day on the intro. So uh, in order to get a video up today, as promised, I'm gonna have to call it now. So we are in Riften here for a very important reason. Very important reason. I'm gonna cover that first thing next video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Skyrim is back. Yeah, I'm so happy. This is gonna be. Uh, Hell of a lot of fun. Um, my name is Major Slack, and I definitely, most definitely, approve this video. Uh, if you do too, please give the old Slacks a big old thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Um, that sound outside is. Usually they make that sound when they're turning off the water, but they've already turned the water off, so I don't know what. They're warning everybody that they're turning the water back on. I don't know. Anyways. Sorry about that, I'm in downtown Montreal, Quebec, and um, some of these street noises are hard to filter out. So I'm going to sign off. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, post a comment, and stuff like that there, and I'll see you next time for part two of my Pure Red Guard run. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.